Going on to you, Cancer. So you have the uh, Ten of Pentacles, the King of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. All right. So, so for you, Cancer Crabs, um, the Ten of Pentacles, right, is all about the value that a lot of you Cancers bring to the relationship. And how a lot of people didn't unfortunately really appreciate it. So the King of Pentacles, excuse me, the King of Wands is about how so since they didn't really appreciate it from the past, you're moving forward on to the people that will appreciate it, right? And the Page of Pentacles represents now is the chance where a lot of you cancer crabs are learning, you're understanding how to exist. Um Right, how to be in relationships way better. And <laughs> the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles are all about how a lot of you Cancers are in a situation where you seem to be getting to know people as of right now. And um, or just kind of thinking about what's the best approach for you, but more so getting to know people right now and or thinking about how to approach, I should say. And what a lot of you cancer crabs are really realizing is that um, people have very high standards for you, but when it comes to actually what are they gonna bring to the table, right? This is where Page of Swords, this is where they start to draw the line and the stuff that it is that you cancer crabs are talking about is nonsense and why is that you would even ask that question and all this other type of stuff. And that's a fair question, right? Like what you, you know, you kind of want this person to understand a little bit what you offer, right? You don't have to tell it all to the other person. They should find out in time uh, in time how serious you cancer crabs are. But when they ask you that, or when you ask them that question more specifically and they can't seem to really be able to give you an answer, that's a problem. So the Wheel of Fortune now represents, so as a result of this, a lot of you cancer crabs happen to be in a situation where what you want to do next and the wheel of fortune is cancer crabs so you showed up in your own reading so things right now are really about how it is that you make it they really are about what it is that you want to do you can speak to people you could choose to not speak to people it's up to you a hundred percent it's up to you um the situation is that a lot of you cancer crabs, you 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 don't want the dysfunction, though. Like you don't want to have to constantly put up with people who are going to give you a, a difficult time. And what I'm here to tell you, cancer crabs, is those people are rare. Okay, those people are rare who don't play games. Essentially, those people are very rare. Um. Because the majority of people are, uh, majority majority of people are very uh, slick with it, or they think <laughs> that they're slick with it. They try to be slick with it, but in actuality, what's happening here is that they're really in a particular situation where what they've got going on is they're really more so in a particular situation where they they are really doing themselves a disservice. And by trying to play games. And the reason why I'm saying that in the first place, right, is because a lot of you, a lot of you cancer crabs strive now to really be straightforward, direct. And a lot of people are not being able to, to deal with that. So the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords now represent. So as a result, um, this is all you pretty much. The Knight of Swords and the Eight of Swords is about how you know, people have completely mistaken you. You're a changed people. You're much better. And you're not going to be bogged down with the games, the silly games that people play. Once they start up with that, that's you. That's your cue, Cancers, to leave. You're going to be like, all right, I wash my hands with this. I'm done. I can't do any more of this stuff. This is too much. So now the, the Knight of Cups is about how, uh, and you'll, Proceed to show them just how serious you are by walking away. Um, because a lot of times people don't really perceive you as being serious up until you cancer crabs walk away. 
Um, and and even then, one of the things that I'm really learning about cancer crabs is is that if you're if you're a complete jerk on either side, then yeah, the cancer crabs are gonna walk away and and they're not playing. But what I'm really realizing from engaging with a lot of cancer crabs is that if if you're good to a lot of the cancers for any of the cross watchers, right, and for any of the cancers that may be interested in other cancer crabs, if you treat them well. Even if they appear to walk away, they will still, they will hold on for life. And it's beautiful, but it's a difficult task at the same time. <laughs> at the same time. It's beautiful, but it can be difficult at the same time, Cancer. So the Ten of Swords now is about how... Um, and, and you understand that it's a difficult road. It's just the passage of, of the, the even houses. Like I said before, the houses that are odd, right? One, three, five, seven, uh, nine, eleven. Those are houses that are more so about fixing situations so that they can become comfortable, right? They, those are comfortable houses, right? Those represent comfort. Those are the houses that we go into that represents comfortability, right? Heaven houses, basically, because Libra is there, heaven houses, right? As to the even houses, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, those are trauma houses. So you cancer crabs being the fourth house, which is even, you know, a lot of you cancer crabs realize a, a lot more of what your rites of passage is that the type of love that a lot of you cancer crabs are offering is so beautiful it's it's kind of it's it's tragic you know the idea that a lot of you cancer crabs love people so deeply to the to the point where you will never let go of loving them really and um because of that because of the fact that you'll never let go of loving those people it'll forever break your heart it'll forever hurt it'll it'll forever you know what i mean they'll they'll always have a special place uh in your heart and like i said before that's kind of that's that's kind of beautiful you know <laughs> so dangerous because you know the, the the cancer crab is you know you know you know you don't want to get a cancer crab angry now you know you don't want to nah you don't want to do that but at the same time it's 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 beautiful <laughs> So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the the Wheel of Fortune, which is you. <laughs> uh, so to clarify, you have the uh, Strength, you have the the Judgment, the Hierophant, and last but not least, you have the um, the Six of uh, Pentacles. So again, the Strength is about how you again you realize that. You realize your rites of passage. You realize that not everybody is really going to be who they are, who they try to act like they are up front, and that a lot of you cancer crabs are learning to become more okay with that. Um, the people that you just met that you had to stop talking to recently, you realize that those people really weren't sincere at all. So you're, you cancer crabs are becoming more okay with that. The judgment in the hierophant is about how, because you realize that, you know, People that are worth holding on to, they're they're rare. You know, you know what I mean. They're rare. The idea that they don't want to cheat, they don't want to. You know what I mean. They just want to. They they want a few things. They have very simple needs. That they, they're not asking for a whole lot, really. But it seems like it seems to be a whole lot for a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of you cancer crabs realize that those types of people are a rare person indeed. And that the um, Six of Pentacles is really about how, and you realize that you're going to have to go searching for those types of people. You know, those types of people that will pour into you like you will try to pour into them. So let's clarify the Ten of Swords. So to clarify the Ten of Swords, we have the Seven of Wands, Four of Swords now. Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. 
you realize that, like I said, it's going to be a lot of hard work. But for the people who spend their time faking it with you, you'll see straight through it and you won't give it the time of day too much. The Nine of Wands, the Four of Pentacles represents how a lot of you uh, Cancer Crabs will also um, not tolerate them trying to convince you that they are decent people and then they do the bait and switch. 